Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. In this video I'm going to show you how to properly apply thermal paste onto the CPU. There are several ways and methods of doing it, but I'll show you the easiest and fastest one that I make use of all the time. So here I have my motherboard with the CPU already installed. Here comes a tip for you. When buying thermal paste make sure to not go for the cheapest solutions. The right choice of thermal paste is important for optimal CPU temperatures. It's not always about the CPU cooler alone. So get decent paste, unlike myself, you won't need much anyway. You probably aren't swapping out coolers or processors as often as I do. Before applying any paste, I'd recommend being ready for the CPU cooler installation. So make sure the backplate is all in place and whatnot. Alright, the method I'm using here is known as P-method. Carefully squeeze out the right amount of paste, not too much though, sometimes less is more. You'll have to do it with a bit of feeling and don't rush it, you don't want any accidents, you know? For Intel's mainstream processors we don't need all that much thermal paste since the surface is not really big. On CPUs with bigger surfaces such as Intel's extreme CPUs, you'll obviously need to squeeze out a bit more paste. Now go ahead and install the CPU cooler and make sure to put it down evenly. Don't worry about spreading out the paste over the CPU, the cooler will take care of that. Put it down evenly and screw in the screws diagonally, if you have four like on water coolers for instance. And that's pretty much it, it's really simple to do. Just don't rush this process as I've heard way too many accidents already, like thermal paste even ending up in the memory slots or in the CPU socket. But what if you want to upgrade your processor or CPU cooler? I'll show you what to do in that case. First of all we of course have to remove the cooler. Do the same thing as with the installation just backwards. Unscrew the screws and just to be safe, do it diagonally here too. Then carefully lift the cooler or pump in this case and place it somewhere safe. Now to clean off the thermal paste on the CPU most people use isopropyl alcohol but some thermal paste manufacturers are kind enough to already include these grease cleansers, basically cleaning tissues with alcohol. These work very well but of course you could use these a bit more efficiently. You know I'm a bit clumsy, I'm sure you'll do a better job at this. Eventually you'll end up with a clean shiny CPU surface, don't forget doing the same for the CPU cooler. And that's how you do it, more or less. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and now know how to properly apply thermal paste as well as how to remove it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.